Hi, I'm Marlana, and if you would like to have a playful learning adventure with your older toddler, a great way to do that is to go on a scavenger hunt. And really, there's no limit to the things that you can look for while you're out there. So um, you might go out looking for things that are all the same color, or you might listen for different sounds, or you might look for things that start with the same sound as the sound that is at the beginning of their name. Um, but first things first, you might want to have a little chat with your child about safety. And knowing how to be safe and follow instructions will help your child have a sense of order and help them develop some self-control as well. So talk about things like holding hands when you're around traffic and staying close together and just look, don't touch is a good one when you're out on a scavenger hunt. Once you've had that chat, you might be ready to make your list. And of course, a 24 to 36 month old isn't ready to read a list of words, but they probably could read a list of pictures. And that's a really, actually a pretty good um, pre-reading skill because they will be able to use these pictures as symbols, just like someday they'll use the words they read as symbols for things in the world around them. So you have to start out with a little bit of preparation and you might um, cut some pictures out of a magazine or download them from offline like I did here and print them out and select more than you think they'll actually want to go look for um, and then allow them to choose their favorites. That will help them uh, express personal interests and have another, again, some sense of control. So your child might choose a leaf and a frog and a bug and a slide. That would be fun if you could find a green slide. And you know, what kid wouldn't love to find a dinosaur? So let them choose it even if you're not sure where to look for that dinosaur. And once once you have your, re your list ready, one thing that might help them if they were going on a, a scavenger hunt for something green is to tie a little green ribbon around their wrist. So there you are, you're out on the road, you're out there on the trail, you're looking for all of these different items. But one thing you could do that would help increase their sense of um, excitement and interest is to let your child take pictures of these things as you find them. Um, and then you can also bring those pictures home later and print them out or create a digital scrapbook and that will let them relive their experience. They'll even let them tell the story to someone who loves them. So if you have a toddler at the wheel, you might find yourself with a hundred different pictures of a green leaf. But don't worry, if that happens, it's just fine because that invites you to take a deeper dive looking at those leaves. And you might find a tiny leaf that's as small as your thumbnail. And then you can help them compare size because you might also find a leaf that's as big or even bigger than your hand. You could ask them, what shape does this leaf remind you of? Is it a square? No, but it does look like a heart, doesn't it? and you might find a leaf with a lot of holes in it. And so you could ask them, how do you think the holes got in that leaf? And it might remind everyone of a story we, you might have heard called the very hungry caterpillar. Um, you might find a green bug. I found a green bug. And you never know what kind of surprises you might find because I found this on the trail, a mermaid in the forest but she has a green tail, so we counted it. Um, and if you know where to look, you might even find a dinosaur. So anyway, thanks for joining us today. Come back next time for another great idea.